you in the church? Are you not sure? I want you to celebrate Jesus. Are you not sure in the church? Just make yourself comfortable in heavenly places. Tell somebody say, Be loved. God will settle your matter. Are you sure? Touch another person. Say, Be loved. God will settle your matter. Thank you. It's good to be in the presence of the Most High God. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate the young man, Brother Divine, that led us in worship, praises, prayers. May God empower him more and empower his group in the name of Jesus. Let us celebrate him more. There's something I believe in life. What I believe in life is give God all your best. If you're opportune, because not everybody is opportune, Hollywood says many are called, few are chosen. Many are created by God, but God chooses the people that He wants to be with, the people that will serve Him in truth and in spirit. And serving God, taking the people of God in another dimension is a gift. It's not by a making, it's not that I want to do it, it's a gift. Many people desire to have such gifts, but it's not an easy thing to have it. It's not about, you don't get it like that. It is internal and it is in divine. When you have the opportunity and grab it, you rule with it. So many things happen in life that I want you to look into something now. Somebody say, God, say to my matter. <laughs> what do you want God to do in life? I'm taking you to the book of Genesis in Hebrew, Bereshit, the beginning of the creature, not the beginning of heaven. Heaven has been existing before the earth. So the big book of Bereshit or Genesis chapter 4 from verse 3 to 5. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the fat lines of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel unto his offering verse 5 and unto Cain to his offering he had not respect and Cain was very wrought and his countenances fell I stop here I am trying to grab something from the ministration that this young man that just ministered before you and I You know the Bible story, the, the, the two brother that was born from the same womb, they suck the same brace, they live in the same house, they grew together, they play together, they answer the same son name together, and their gift separate them. This word gift is something that God has put in into you. That when you want to make use of that gift in the purpose of the things of God, somebody who is not gifted like you never appreciate it. But that will not stop you not to do what you are led to do. One. You are worshiping God with all your heart. Many people are not gifted to go to church. Many are not gifted to worship like you. 
and they must be against your faith they will do all kinds of things to discourage you to make sure you not come close to God you are gifted to serve and worship and while doing so you have more life and more good experience and he or she that trying to discourage you doing everything that he will do one to destroy your faith two to destroy your man of God and to destroy your faith three to disorganize you to make sure you are not coming close to God and if you are loose being tempted listen to them what God will give to you they will not offer it to you when God abandon you they will still abandon you are you getting what I'm saying then Abel had that passion of serving giving all he had for God the best of his best unto God but Cain giving condition giving reasons do you know if you give that you are giving it to Reverend America you are giving it to that bishop you are giving it to that pastor but in Abel decision and his faith I am giving to God but Cain has double mind because he was not the chosen so in life outside there so many discourage men in order to hurt your faith to draw you back from your faith in order to make sure that your faith will not stand for you to abandon your lifeline and join them if you abandon your lifeline and join them they will drop you on the way you better wake up Touch somebody say wake up touch another person beloved wake up so Cain was angry because Abel was doing the right thing we are born in the same family you know sometimes i remember my siblings they, they, sometimes they look at me what, what 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 is going on in my whole family we answer the same name we have the same identity we look alike the same dna but we are not the same you get to know who you are that you are not the same with so many people outside there the life they live and succeed when you put your leg in the same life you see that yourself you are hot because you are not the same like them the way they talk and go freely you talk the same thing they are saying you see the repercussion of it called the retributive justice happening in business happening in marriage taking place in all things you are doing life shattered because you are not the same like that so what am i saying uh, some people will like to twist your faith for you to denounce your faith at the end of faith they will not do that that God is doing to you just like God has given you destiny helpers some of your destiny helper are your husband some of your destiny helper they become wives some of destiny helper are your children some of destiny helper are your parents some of destiny helper are your pastor some of destiny helper is somebody I cannot know you know destiny helper and when you think that you are comfortable with this in the hair you see manipulation thoughts manipulating you meaning the demon will manipulate you against your destiny helper friends will manipulate you against your destiny helper trying to remind you that your destiny helper is cheating you destiny helper cheating somebody he's helping is it possible ladies let me tell you something about marriage today ladies are nagging nagging you are cheating a man he, he is your destiny helper and another lady will manipulate you trying to let you know how he is cheating you and trying to let you know to go and do your own way then when your destiny helper abandon you they can never be your destiny helper 
Are you getting? Your destiny helper, when he abandoned you, nobody. These people that are manipulating you, reminding you the ways of your destiny helper, can never do what your destiny helper is doing into your life. They will also abandon you. A child of God must be wise. Somebody say wise. Say it, I must be wise. Touch somebody, say be love. Touch another person, say be love. You must be wise. Being wise is being a child of God. If you are not wise, two things can destroy you. Just two things can destroy you. Two things. They will pull you out from your destination. And left you behind in a lonely place. You are comfort home. Your comfort business that moving well. They will pull you out. They will manipulate you. They will track you. They will pull you out and leave you on the way. You become stranded. You see yourself being stranded because you listen to it. Tell somebody say, Be love. Follow your heart. In marriage, the same. In relationship, the same. I know what I'm searching in life personally. Imagine me getting what I'm searching in life. And somebody would come and manipulate me. The thoughts in me manipulating me. You know how many years I've been searching a particular thing. And then I succeeded in getting that the same thing I'm searching. The type of person I need as a friend. And somebody will come and manipulate my thought. Then, can't you ask yourself, for how long have I been searching? You have done a lot of sacrifices with your body. You have done a lot of sacrifices with your time. I want to speak to you about time. Time is our friend. And sometimes time is our enemy. How? The time you wasted. The time you wasted because you want to listen to them. Will become your enemy. But the time you preserve and make use of faith. We also become your friend that will bring progress in your destiny. Are you getting what I'm saying? The time, time is enemy and time is friendship. Any time you wasted will turn and become your enemy. And you will never have the same time again in life. Because a wise man says opportunity comes only but when that time comes for you to grab it and you misuse it, the time will turn and become your enemy. There must be a repercussion. But when you take the time and make use of the time, time becomes your friendship, your friend, and take you to the higher level. Ladies and gentlemen, you are blessed. May you rise. You are not celebrating. And somebody is not celebrating. Do you think you are celebrating? So make use of every good time you have with him. Make use of the time you have with her. Make use of the time you have with God in the in this holy place. Make use of the time you have with your days in heaven. When you mess that time up, that time will frustrate you. Because time is divine opportunities. When time to sleep comes, sleep. Make use of the time and sleep. Time to study. Make use of the time to study. Time to eat. Make use of the time to eat. Why Solomon, king, said there is time for everything under the sun. I'm praying for you. Somebody said, God said to my life. I'm not hearing you. We need your prayers. That we need you. I need your prayers. Holy Spirit.
presence we need your presence father i need your presence we need your presence against the power of deceivers the bad thought that to deceiving you not to meet up with your destined helper any bad thoughts coming from your paternal maternal home to destroy what god has assigned to you i command that spirit to move out of your life i command that spirit to move out of your life any demon He or she that God has sent to you to be of helper. That thought that wants you to command your own helper. God of mercy. May that spirit move out of your life in the name of Jesus. The Lucifer's coming as a friend. Whispering to you. Destroying your faith and your heart towards your destiny helper. Towards your business. Towards your marriage. Whosoever that person will be around you, may God push that person out of your life in the name of Jesus. May your heart be settled. May your heart be settled. May your business be settled. May your marriage be settled. May your career be settled. May your expectation be settled. May your future be settled. May God bless your heart desires in the name of Jesus. Somebody say I'm blessed. You celebrate Jesus wherever you are. Celebrate Jesus somebody. You celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I'm not hearing somebody. Celebrate Jesus. I'm not hearing you. Celebrate Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus.